Osprey's 66, roger outside air plus two. On board Osprey 66, Network Rail's helicopter that tries to spot problems before they happen, vital in this cold snap. We took a trip to inspect the line from Euston. They're using a high resolution thermal camera to check points heaters. They stop track junctions yeah. freezing up. All those blobs that are on the screen, yeah. they're all where we've got points heating working. But using the camera, they quickly spot a heater that isn't working. In about a thousand feet, what I can do is move the camera in yeah. and we can look and ascertain the set of points that we're looking at and switch from a visual view and go back into thermal where we can see the half the set of points are not working. So we can give staff a really accurate location. So not only can we give them the point number so they can go directly to site, we can also give them an engineer's line reference and a mileage. So it's, it's that detailed? Yeah, yeah. Pinpoint, really? Indeed. Engineers will be sent to fix these problems quickly. It would normally take months to inspect this whole route, but with this thermal camera on the helicopter, it'll take just hours. It's called predict and prevent, and it also means they can spot things like cable theft, overgrown vegetation, even fly tipping. The camera is so powerful, it can pick out this cat from a thousand feet, or a garden fire next to the line. It's not long before they spot another points heater not working. And further down the track, these wires are overheating. Is that bad? It, it may mean that those connections aren't as tight as they could be. When we've got snow, ice and frost, we can spot things like points failures, where the heating's breaking down or not perhaps working on a set of points. That could stop trains, and these are some of the busiest lines in the country. So we want to try and avoid that and keep people on the move as much as we can. These cameras, Network Rail say, have saved many hours of delays. In this cold weather, predicting where the infrastructure might fail is one part of the plan to keep services running. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.